I look like a lion. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see by the title, today my boyfriend's picking my makeup. So it's gonna be a while right for me, but hopefully he knows a little bit of makeup and hopefully he watched my makeup videos once in a while. So I'm hoping he does a good job picking out my makeup. Because how I'm gonna do this is like, I'm just gonna tell him like, okay, I want foundation, I want concealer, I want powder, all that stuff. And he has to pick out the right product. I don't have tons of primer or tons of like foundation or tons of concealer to choose from. But enough for him to like guess and think and like just pick out the right product. And plus like, obviously um, he can read. So I mean, I hope he doesn't pick out the wrong product but I mean if we even if he does like it's fine not that he can't read but yes all right I'm talking way too much I'll just get right into the video and I'll insert this clip that I let him pick out my makeup yeah okay guys so my boyfriend's here so I'm just gonna let him choose um makeup from my makeup drawer and then yeah just gonna let him guess hopefully he got everything right fingers crossed all right so first up you have to choose a primer for me so primer is it um it goes underneath the foundation okay um one thing you if you're not sure you can always like open that box and then you can just see if that's the correct you know product okay the primer is a liquid is it liquid or powder? It's definitely liquid or cream type of thing. Okay. Um, also, you can also read if you want. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then not just here. Let me show you first. I've got another drawers in here. So you can also like have a look here. I've got more products at the back. So. And I've got this little um, plastic container so that you can put stuff here. Okay, primer, right? Yep, a primer. So it goes underneath my foundation. Okay, that's a primer he picked. Is um, it? <laughs> okay, so well, I'm not gonna say anything. It's a challenge. So. Right. Okay, um, now it's time for foundation. Pick a foundation. Again, I've got another drawer underneath. So if you can, if you want to pick that, you can have a look in there. Uh, why not you take the Rihanna one? Okay. Here we go. Um, so that's foundation, and I'm gonna need a powder to set it. Uh, okay. Let's see. It's bronzer. <laughs> Here we go. Anastasia. I don't know. Is that a powder to set it? I don't know. It's not. Well, a I don't know. I can't tell you. Uh, no. no. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up. A powder. A powder, set. yeah, like to, to set. set. Like it's like it doesn't have any color. It it's translucent if you actually apply on you. <laughs> just pick something quickly. Okay, what is that for? It's powder. Well, I, I mean, know. that's what I said before. Like you can, if you're not too sure, you can open up the box to see if that's a powder or a. <laughs> What is this? It's a bronzer. Right? Yeah. These are for eyes, right? I'm not saying anything, okay? You can read, you can have a look, you can guess. But just don't guess the worst, please. <laughs> All oh, right. Oh, no. no, man. Powder. It's a, okay. There's a hint. It's a powder. So it's powder. The texture is powdery. I know it's the How powder. do I explain it? This one. So this one is the powder for you? Which one? So what do you want me to set my foundation with? Okay, it says that, oh, that one? Okay, okay. Powder. Perfect, perfect. Can you pick a, a brow product? So, ah. so usually I use like two brow products, at least mm -hmm. two on my brows. So pick a brow product to fill in my brows. Yeah, let's see. So... Why do you keep picking that up? You know that expensive, huh? <laughs> uh, it looks nice. So, do some brow powder first. Yeah, there you go. And then. Obviously, he can read. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Zodiac. Wait, do you you want me to? What do you mean? 
Yeah, this one's for I, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, um... This is a brow product. Which one looks like? Yeah, brown pencil. Okay, okay so... This one too. That's a mascara. Whatever, you can use it after that. Oh my god, I just, I just gave away like two products. Oh my god. Um, okay, so... Um, choose a brow gel for me. Brow gel. Yeah, brow boss gel, Colourpop. There you go. Oh my god. Okay, um, what else? So, after brows, um, pick a bronzer for me. Hula. It's about to be gone, so I'll choose something more full. Never mind. Okay, this is a bronzer. Okay, yep. Um, I'm just picking anything <laughs> that looks appealing to my eyes. Oh, well, okay, sure. Um, can I also have a blush, please? A blush. Blush. It's for your cheek. It's for cheek. Mm hmm. Oops. Obviously. Oh, it's kind of like blush. Sorry, guys, if it's like too dark right now because like my. The lighting in my bedroom yeah, is not you really go. Gold rush. I thought good. that's a blush. I think that's a blush. So he picked this here. Um, and then can I also have a highlight, please? What the fuck is highlight? <laughs> Hint. No, wait, wait. <laughs> highlight, right? So you don't really watch my makeup videos, do you? <laughs> I don't watch makeup videos in general. I mean, my makeup video, at least. You have to support me. I, I support thought you support you. me. Highlight, right? Yeah, Maybelline, Maybelline, really Maybelline. Okay, so can I also have um too much so a concealer? Oh my god, I almost forgot that concealer. Oh, I have already chosen that for you. Here, concealer. See? <laughs> okay. Do you want another concealer? No filler concealer. Okay. Um. So what else? Oh yeah. Can I have a lip product? I think it's probably under the next drawer. Alright. Let's see. You can also have a look here. No, it's okay. Okay. Mm. So what the colors that I choose? Give you definitely not that one. I'll choose an SAI. Because okay. what? Because <laughs> you say you really like the. Yeah. So I mean, there's more. Just so you know, just so you know, like SAI. Sure. Are you just like looking for a lip color? Yeah, I think I'll go with this color lip cream. What do you call this? The name? It's at the bottom. Shit, I do it. My bad. This this color that I said My I love like yeah. it, right? I love it. Yeah. Um. Go. Okay. What else? Oh, it's I will again, also right? need you to choose a like waterline liner. So it's like an eyeliner. So it's like a pen. I've never heard of that. I've never heard you say that waterline liner. Hmm. Just pick a color. Oh, is it here? Don't give to me. Don't say it. Uh -huh. Alright, why not you go this one? This one looks... Blue Moon. That yeah. one? Yeah, okay. Why not? Alright. Um, okay, so... What else? Oh yeah, setting spray. Yeah, setting spray is up here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, know. obviously he knows this because every Type time I get ready... <laughs> When I'm doing this, you know that I'm almost done. Yeah, so. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna also need that. It's just, it's just um, brush cleaner spray. So yeah, just put it in here. I need. I'm gonna need it. Okay. Um, you can just ask for it. Okay, I'm choosing. Well, I mean, I only have this one thing, so we've got most stuff. Hopefully, um, I I hope I don't miss out anything. Do you think I missed anything? No. Even Try your best with this. You got a lot already. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, yeah. So I think this is pretty much it for my um, full face of makeup. I think I must say he did a pretty good job. So. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. A round of applause. High please. five. High five. <laughs> I'll see you guys back in my beauty table. Bye. All right. So yeah. Um, it wasn't that bad. Thank God. <laughs> I'll try to do the best as I can to make 
things work if he didn't pick out the right product i'm scared right now like i just it just cringe me when i whenever i like i don't know it's just oh like with makeup products it's just i cannot apply the wrong products i don't know okay but okay i'll do my best and this is just a challenge it's just for fun so without further ado let's get right into the video okay so with the skincare stuff um i didn't let him choose just because i just keep it like smaller collection with my skincare so i'm just gonna use whatever that i'm using right now as you all know before i start my makeup routine i always you know like just prep my skin so i've got one product that i want to introduce to you guys that i've been using recently i've been using that like two times a week um because you know like i have to wear it like full face of makeup like when i go to work so um if i have time and if i'm not too lazy i always like throw that sheet mask on and that sheet mask is called bio soothing mask um it's from korea actually one of my um high school friend um he sent this to me from korea and i've been trying this out for um uh, i've gone through like a box and a half so this one is like there's like only two sheet masks left in this box so it comes with like five masks in one box so i've already gone through one and this one's halfway already so yeah i just want to introduce you guys to this brand that i'm enjoying using so this is basically it's a sheet mask that um it's more like yeah, like cosmeceutical kind of thing if you have like more like a sensitive problematic you know skin um acne prone skin severely dry skin i will 100 percent recommend this one set right on here it's very hydrating soothing repair um it moisturizes very well the hydration level in your skin after using this will last you all day like it just i actually wanted to use like every morning like before i go to work like before i put like makeup on my skin i want to use this but i just don't have time um so i always like use it at night before next day even when, if i'm wearing like matte like foundations it just works best it just gives you this like effortless you know like smooth skin look even if i'm wearing like matte foundations so that's a plus because i love matte foundations it's just like um renew repair like regenerate your skin like it just gives you everything that you need in your skin but there's one thing that i don't really enjoy using this mask is that it has like overwhelming amount of serum soaked in that one sheet mask so it comes in like a little package like this so serum is all soaked up in here I totally get the fact that you need to like soak the, the sheet with like all these like goodness serum in it but even when I take it out it's just like oh it's just like dripping all over but it's good like maybe you can apply everywhere like on your neck, your hands like everywhere but that's the only con that i don't really enjoy but doesn't mean that like oh like i won't gravitate towards it it's just like that one thing that bothered me a little like i mean that happens to like most sheet masks out there it's okay but i feel like this has like overwhelming amount of serum soak in this mask so yeah so just be careful like when you take it out just like kind of like squeeze it down a little and then just like throw it on your face that's fine that's just like one little thing that i don't really like that's it but i mean it just yeah it does really make my skin hydrate and pump up my water level on my skin like my face look glowy and you know repair and refresh so yeah so before i do the makeup um, I'm just gonna throw one of this sheet mask on. It says to leave it on for like 20 to 30 minutes. But I normally leave it on for like 20 minutes only because it's winter here in Sydney and it gets quite cold. So I'm just gonna leave this on for like another 15 minutes and then because I have to do the video so now I'll be right back. Alright guys, the mask is getting a little tighter so I'm just gonna take it out and yeah. So normally I just like just swipe it everywhere on my skin 
like that. Ooh, it feels refreshing. So yeah, I decided I want you guys to try this sheet mask out too. So I'm gonna give away three box of these sheet masks to three lucky winners. So just watch until this video ends to find out how to enter this little giveaway. So yeah, All right, I'm kind of thirsty. Let me just. The for foundation, I just always have to apply a moisturizer. So right now I've been using this Ulo Hendrickson um, Nurture Me Multivitamin Blend and Rose Hip Fruit Oil Moisturizer. Um, it smells so good. It smells like lemon flavor Starburst. It just oh, it smells so yummy. And after that, I'm gonna apply eye cream as usual. This one is the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream that you've seen in my last two videos, I think. I think I put a little bit too much. So I can go straight on to primer. Unfortunately, he didn't pick the right product. He actually picked this Benefit um, Big Easy Liquid to Powder Foundation. I mean, I, I can't really blame him though. Like, it doesn't say anything that's foundation, really. So, I mean, I couldn't really blame him. And plus, look at the packaging. It's just like a tube. So, probably he might have thought that this is a primer. So. But unfortunately for me, I have to go in with two layers of foundation in this video. Well, it's going to be something new then. But since it's a foundation, I'm just going to go in with my Real Technique makeup sponge. I'm just going to go a light layer, obviously, because it's a primer according to my boyfriend. <laughs> he actually picked this foundation, which is my favorite. Um, it's the Fenty Beauty foundation. I'm kind of glad that he picked this. But I mean, it's gonna be like two layers. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. So I know we're going with like three pumps of this. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. The foundation underneath is kind of like coming together in one area. And it's not a pretty look. Normally, I apply this foundation with this um, Benefit Pearl, Pearl, the pink one, primer or like the Tatcha primer. Um, and yeah, it looks amazing. But right now, just it's okay. It's okay. I can get through this. I'll just let it air dry a little bit. While I'm waiting for that, let's just move on to the brows as usual. So with the brows, I actually told him to pick three products for brows. So he actually picked Benefit Brow Powder, Benefit Goof Proof Pencil, and the ColourPop Clear Brow Gel. I'm just gonna quickly just fill in my brows. It's like I just did my brows like I think two days ago. So kind of like getting used to the shape. I have to like kind of carefully like fill them up. Cause Normally I'm so used to that like kind of like rounded arch more like a straight and then like a little bit arch shape that I automatically like tend to draw that way but I just have to follow the shape of my brows right now Oh my god you guys, I forgot to apply concealer You can imagine how long I haven't been doing makeup videos So, so with the concealer, he actually picked two for me because I, he actually picked this out first, honestly. And then um, I asked for like a liquid concealer. So he picked this out. So, well, honestly, I'm just gonna use this one because my foundation is not actually really going good. So I'm just gonna please just let this be. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this. I'm just going in. I didn't even mention this. This one is the ColourPop um, No Filter Concealer. Oh my god, thank god. It looks way better now because of the concealer. Yes, 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 thank god. <gasps> thank you, thank you ColourPop. Finally, concealer. So back to the brows. I'm gonna fill in this bag with the Foolproof Brow Powder. It's just like separating, you know? 
it's just sticking onto just like one part and like separating two from another. I'm really confused. I don't know why foundations does that sometimes. It's just really annoying. Okay, there you go. Okay. So I'm just gonna fill in the star of my brows with this. Started with the clear Cold Pop um, clear brow gel. I love this stuff. Okay. Now I'm just gonna set them, set my face with the powder. I just recently got this um, Cold Pop no filter setting powder. Oh my god, you guys saw that, right? That clip like where he almost picked that Benefit Dandelion highlight as my powder. No way. No. Normally, um, you can bake with this, but I'm, I'm, I'm not really into baking, so I'm just gonna like dab it a little just to like set the concealer and foundation together. This brush is great for light under eye concealing. This one's the Real Techniques. Um, it's actually a control brush, but I use it as for my under eyes and like eyelid setting powder. I'm just gonna go in with this fluffy brush. It's the Zoeva powder brush. It's the number 101. One, uh, 105. They don't sell this individually though, it's just, it comes in a little set. I'm just gonna set like the powder all over, just a little bit. Okay. So now my face looks a little bit more like Casper. After setting powder, like I've been doing like bronzer, blush, highlight and everything. And then I just leave the eyes for the last. So I've been kind of like switching it up a little bit. So I'm just going to do that right now. So as for the bronzer, I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs, how do you call this? Tantastic 104 Omega Bronzer. This stuff is so good. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's totally worth it. And the pan in here is humongous and it smells like coconut. It smells like holiday. And I like to use this Zoeva Luxe Cheek Finish 126 brush with this bronzer. I am really not liking this double foundation type of thing. Not bad. I like it. See, like, I like to go like a bit heavy on the bronzer. I love bronzer. And then I will do my nose control a little bit. After that, I'm just gonna go on to blush. And he picked this Benefit Gold Rush blush. I actually like this. Oh, wait, I have to do the highlight. I normally like to do highlight first and then go in with blush so that it just gives you more like a natural kind of glow. So with the highlight, he actually picked my favorite highlight. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome highlight. What's the color? Um, it's in the color Molten Gold. So I'm going to go in with my Zueva 134 Luxe Powder Fusion Brush. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Every time, like, it just highlight just, just mesmerize me. And now, let's go on to blush. And I'm using this Luxie 522 Taper Highlighter Brush. I love Luxie brushes as well, but they're a little bit more expensive than the Zueva ones. Morphe ones are more affordable. If you're looking for like a makeup brushes to put in your collection, like go for BH Cosmetic brushes first. They have like a huge set. Oh, and talking about brushes, I want to give a shout out to my friend's brush line. If you guys have seen my Instagram post like a while back, I posted a photo with these mermaid brushes. Look at these. These are so pretty. It's called Beauty Bombs. Yeah, you can um, follow their Instagram page. And so yeah, these are actually really nice quality as well. They're very soft. Go for these. I totally recommend these. 
So I'm gonna jump onto my eyes for the eyeshadow. He picked out the new Catlin Lights Times Colourpop the Zodiac palette, and I'm glad that he picked out because I haven't used this on camera. And also for eyes, he also picked out the Waterline liner. He picked this um, eyeliner pencil from Hardy Heart, and it's called Blue Moon Sparkle. And yeah, it's also one of my favorite products from Hardy Heart. Okay. Let's do this. I'm just gonna point out the color like just quickly what color I'm using and just start doing my eyes. I just recently got this Beauty Blender brush cleaner spray. It comes in really handy. You can just like quickly spritz it and it just clean out all the colors on your eyeshadow brush. Actually, I use it mainly for eyeshadow brushes because like I only have like a few of them. Especially like for blending brushes, like I need them all, all the time. So I just spritz this and then you can just like wipe it in like some kind of tissue or like the towels If you see it in Sephora, try this out It just smells like their beauty blender soaps So with the Scorpio color, I'm just gonna take my ring finger and then just apply it on the front half so I've used only these three colors already so for my lower lash line I'm just gonna go in with this gorgeous blue shade it's called the Aquarius and I'm just gonna just like smudge it out all over the lower lash line I thought I was going to do something with this blue shade over here but then I was like no like I actually like the makeup look that I wore like yesterday to work so I was like no I'm just gonna stick to that and then because I haven't actually never filmed kind of like eye makeup look so Alright guys, so for the tight line, I apply this Hardy Heart um, Blue Moon Sparkle. It's a very pretty blueberry dark blue color. And then I just throw on some falsies. You already know I always love wearing this brand Allure and the number is 117. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara on my lower lash. I usually apply mascara on my falsies because I feel like I can wear like a few more times and if I apply mascara, it's just like just have to throw out that right away. I will only apply if I think like I really need that drama, more dramatic kind of like lashes. But right now it's just I'm just filming so I don't want to ruin this new um, set of lashes. So as you know, this is one of my favorite mascara from Benefit, it's the Bad Girl Bang. Oh, and then I almost forgot, um, I'll just put a little bit of um, sparkle in the inner corners. So I'm just going to open up the palette again and I'll just go in with this shade called the Cancer. I will take this little tiny brush. This color is gorgeous. And then I'm going to highlight my brow bone as well. I'm just going to take this Maybelline Messy Chrome. And then just highlight my brow bone. Although, I'll just go back in with this fluffy brush to just blend that out a little bit. I'm really happy with me um, changing the brows a little bit higher up so that I get more like lit space to do my eyeshadows. So yeah, so I am definitely finally done with the eyes for the lipstick he chose my favorite from size cosmetics um it's the color my bay my bay or my bay whatever you can call it i don't know it's my favorite shade and i want more and more of this color oh my god look at how gorgeous that color is it's your lips but better and also the formula is so good, like doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. Just like so soft on your lips. Alright, so final step, setting spray. So my boyfriend picked out the setting spray from Cover FX and it's the high performance setting spray, the 24 hour long lasting setting spray. Not really my favorite, but I mean I still use it. I'm just gonna dangerously spritz all over my face.
All right, guys. So I am finally done with this look. I hope you guys love the finished look. I actually really, really love this eye look. I mean, now that I look at it, I don't really have like problem with having two different foundation on my face without a primer. I think the foundation is like starting to set, so it looks better. Like even in person, like it looks good. I'm not mad at it, so I think. This is totally not a fail. It turns out great. I mean, I wouldn't recommend not using a primer. So before I close out this video, I just want to tell you guys how to enter this mask giveaway for three lucky winners. So all you have to do is simply just be subscribed to my channel and you have to like this video and you comment down something under this video as well. Something appropriate, please. I don't want any drama, any PG-13 going on in my channel. So those three things and you will have a chance to win one of this sheet mask box. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm happy with what my boyfriend have picked up except for the double foundation thing. But yeah, I mean, this is a fun little makeup to show her that has like a little bit of, um, you know, something different. So as usual, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.